Okay, he just lets it attack. That that's kind of an unexpected move there, sir. How's it going, boys? Today we are playing Historic Mono Black deck. We have the usual late game win conditions, Torment of Hailfire, Cruel Reality, Professor Liliana, please step on me, I have been a naughty naughty boy and that's not even a lie. And, you know, this time I put a little bit more emphasis on the discarding. We have uh, four Inscriptions of Ruin, four Davriels and four in Inquisitions of Kozilak. Pretty decent cards, pretty powerful, powerful early game, a decent hand am amount of hand disruption, and then we have removal like Fatal Push, Heartless Act, uh, where is it, Erebos Invitation, and Sign of Blood a little bit for the draw, and Clackadee Boys for a little bit more draw, and obviously Cabal Strongholds. Making a mono black deck, you probably better uh, input a little bit of that cabal -y goodness. So, yeah. A simple deck, as you can see, I'm not going in on full discard mode, because full discard is really, really bad. On average, a well-made non-aggro deck will have anywhere between 8 and 12 draw cards. And those 8 or 12 draw cards, if you have played against the deck that uh, uh, has a big emphasis on discard, discard, you know that you need to just cast them as often as possible and then you're gonna win, because this concept kinda loses heavily uh, against, you know, pretty much anything that draws cards. We are not using things like uh, in enchantments, where is it, waste not, I can't see, wait here it is, waste not. Waste not seems good, but in all honesty, the only part that kind is good for, uh, in reality of waste not is the draw card uh, aspect. Nothing else here is good, add two man, garbage, created the two two zombie, it's kind of okay, but most of the time it's meh anyway, so yeah. You know, it's a neat card, but honestly, completely unusable. I just use it as hand disruption to uh, get an early advantage, and then we see just how it uh, it goes. It's a pretty powerful, uh, this card is pretty powerful if you use it like this and you don't mean fully on in. Well, at least that's in my opinion. People love their discard decks that go full-blown waste, not targets and all of those things, the combo. Which, you know, against my type of decks, which have a decent amount of resetting capabilities and draw capabilities, usually crumble pretty fast, pretty good. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So, boys, in the meantime, we have a new Patreon to thank. Piotr Stolarzik. Thank you, thank you very much for becoming a Patreon. I greatly appreciate you, boys, as always. Patreon's the lifeblood of the channel, and by the way, this is the moment where I uh, remind you that pressing the like button does tremendous work for the YouTube algorithm, because it loves it. And uh, subscribing if you haven't subscribed already also helps. And if you have subscribed, pressing the bell icon, because that's the actual, actual subscribe button. Oh god, YouTube is such a ridiculous playground of stupidity, honestly, because of all of those things. Oh, but anyway, without any further ado, boys, let's just get a cracking and see what happens now, shall we? Also, look at this art style. Mwah! Perfection. Okay, a Tamiyo avatar. Wizards, where's my free Tamiyo avatar? I overcame the odds, I got this hand, and I got to go first, but I'm okay because we have the Inquisition. Finally, I can say something about the Inquisition. I, I really want to every time, but there's no reason to say it. But now we have the Inquisition in our hands, which doesn't make sense. Also, it has flavor text, which I will probably never read for obvious reasons. Okay, let's see. Cat on purple, Pariel. Huh. Your name's dumb, but your avatar is first grade. Also, please be a Tibald discard, a uh, Tibald deck. Eh, that's not exactly too Tibaldy. Okay, we lose. Who would have thought? Ten out of ten. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Now we definitely lose, unless this is a big creature summoner. It kind of depends. He has uh, Unburial Rights, he has a Stitchy Boy, he had Grizzly Salvage. You know, there's a lot of things that are currently rummaging through my mind. 
and none of them are legal legally uh, sayable out loud. That would be very bad. Okay, anyway. Let's see. What does he do? Does he just drop the stitchy? I think he just does. Well, let's see. What else are you gonna do? Oh, double stitch a supplier, it seems like. No, he can't even double stitch a supplier. Okay. Well, if you're a creature deck, I am very okay with it because I found a heartless act. Uh, oh wait, Erebos' invitation. Anything you try to resurrect, I will just say, nah, mate, not today, mate, nah. That's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be great, trust me, I'm a scientist. Okay, yeah, Erebos, dude, this is why I put Erebos' invitation in the deck, half of the reason. Not only because it is a light game, uh, but because it's against uh, decks, uh, because it's against graveyards. Erebos' Invitation seems like, by the way, the optimal best card in the world when it comes to dealing with aggro decks, but in reality, uh, not exactly. Not exactly, sadly. But, we're dealing with graveyards. First grade quality, boys. Okay, so obviously we're gonna have to get rid of the Lost Skull Art. These things attack, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. I am getting a lands. Which is exactly the thing I want. It kind of depends on what he goes for, honestly, here. I think he's just gonna do Faithless Looting, because he has done Burial Rites. Uh, yeah. So he can't do anything else. This is the best play I have currently for now, so might as well do it. Doesn't really matter too much. Oh, double Unburial Rites. Okay, so next turn, he's gonna use Unburial Rites. Or just basic... <laughs> <laughs> on burial rights, I guess. And then, I'm gonna discard uh, the this, and I'm gonna discard pretty much everything I see. Also that, you know, there's a lot of things your boy's gonna hit. Because look at this, exile up to twice, targeted cards, blah blah blah, graveyard. Oh yes, that's pretty good. Oh no, oh, he's just a Praetor deck. Yeah, was also an option, by the way, Praetor Resurrector. But, you know... I, I, I like to think that people are better than that. But seriously, why did you ditch the burial rights? Like, oh, because you did have it. Okay, uh, that's pretty cool, I guess. So, uh, use up all your mana and I will just exile your deck. Thank you very much. Okay, watch this, boys. Watch this. The, the, the gold, the, the, this is the return of the golden girls. This is literally the return of the golden girls. He, he, he will never expect it. We're gonna click on this. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna click on this. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna click on this. That. And there's one more card. Did, did I hit everything? What did this do? Target opponents lose, destroy none. Target player mills three cards. Yes, uh, salvage is better. Auto tab, boys. What a nice turn you had there. It would be a shame if it completely got ruined by one simple card. And now you have nothing in your graveyard. Yeah. Dude, that's... Dude, he's getting... Oh, God. He act, dude, dude, dude. The Merchant Ultimatum? Me not likey. Me not likey. Uh, nice. I know it was nice. That's why I did it. I do only nice things, as they say. Okay, so do this. How much mon do I have? Six. Six is a prime number. That is absolutely perfect. And now I can do this and this card something else that I dislike with a passion. For example, I don't know what that does, but I dislike it. And that's a bunch of lands. Okay, so this is the plan, right? This is the plan, boys. The plan is super simple. He doesn't win. I hellfire. I win. What a plan. Yes, I know. The, the only reason this plan is as good is because I thought of it. I know, no one else probably uh, had so much IQ to, you know, figure this out. But, you know, I did. Yup. No, no, not to stroke my own dick, but your boy's really smart. Yup. That's right. Mr. Smarty Pants right here. It's true. I, I, I can vouch for it, by the way. Okay, Fatal Sleuthing. I still want this card to be banned from the game, just because it's ugly. No other reason. Literally just because it's ugly. 
Another Faithless Slow Thing. Oh, that's very cute, my friend. That That is absolutely the most cutest thing I have ever seen in my life. Now, the problem with that, obviously, is the fact that I think I've been... Yeah, it's the fact that I think I've been... Not gonna play the land. Davriel, Heartless Act in the Swamp. You know what? Surprise, surprise, gonna go for that. Okay. So, this should be all she wrote, right? Eh! Wait, no, don't play that by accident. Seven. Seven is a good number. Also, I think it's a prime number. Then again, I have no idea what's a prime number. Why do Americans know what prime numbers are? Uh, I have never even got taught what prime numbers are because it just seems kind of fucking pointless. Is it... Are prime numbers the same thing as the Fibonacci sequence? It kind of sounds the same and I would not be surprised if Americans just switched out the name to sound, you know, smart just because, you know, what else are they gonna do? And that's the win, boys! Easy. Wait, could he actually won? No, he was like two, two sacks off. Well, that was definitely something. Oh, look at that. It's the body avatar. It's gonna be great, I tell you. It's gonna be great. I don't like uh, uh, those type of uh, decks with planeswalkers because we're not rolling with Immortal Sun, which technically is a fallacy, but hey, uh, it is what it is. So, four lands inscription of ruin, but two clackety boys. If he's an actual Tefari deck, I'll lose. The, the, there's no early game plays here. So, I, I will 100% lose. This... Oh, God. He actually... Oh, no! Live game. Uh, that also is problematic, because he went fir first. Going first with aggro decks is still extremely unfair, by the way. An aggro deck should always go second. Oh, an angel aggro deck. <laughs> that just makes everything a lot worse. Okay. Well, what wasn't that peachy? Okay, let me think about this. How much do I need to actually offset this guy by? This is th this is kind of an instant play, I guess. And next turn, I'm gonna instantaneously be, be getting rid of Bishop of Wings because, you know, the stupid Valkyrie is most likely happening. Oh god, wizards, just stop giving life game. Wait a minute, is that even illegal? So you're telling me this is actually a cladic deck? No, there's the classical stupid Valkyrie. Huh. Okay. Well, it's not actually okay, okay, but you know, it's, it's, it's like whatever. Okay, do this. Okay! <laughs> I'm saying, okay, I, I just said a lot of okays in a very short period of time. But, well, what are you gonna do? Uh, re oh, that's, dude, that, everything he does currently is so annoying, because it's like, it's an angel deck. Everything he can do is the equivalent of maximum annoyance. Maybe this completely ruins his, uh, his game plan. I can only hope on that, honestly. I can, yeah, it's a t tough decision. Let's see what he discards. A land. Okay, that wasn't a tough decision. And he took two damage, which is kind of good because now it's a lot harder for him to get to the 27 HP so he can just ram his tefari -ness down my throat. Which would, wait, that's an angel. Dude, do you even know what deck you're playing? This just seems like a random amount of stuff for no reason. The, uh, vis viscosi. Also, you know, even if he doesn't sack the goat here, he's gonna sack the goats when, uh, when the clackety boy number two hits the board. It always... Oh! <claps> Aggro deck players. Okay, well, I guess that's a thing. Okay, where, where's, where's my removal? It would be really good because, you know, this is a little bit BS. Uh, let's see. Can I kill him? No, I need to do this. Yeah, I need to do this. What? What a play! Uh, minus three. Let's see what he gets rid of. Am I dead? No matter what. By the way, he has a choice of three things. It should be super easy just to pick. Dude, seriously, man, like Syria, Syria. Oh my god, dude, aggro deck players. You could have just lethaled me, but you know, I, I guess that's cool. Yeah, I, I guess that's cool. You could have literally just lethaled me. That all you needed to do was just 
Pig this, attack me with everything, and I am done. I am gone. There's nothing left of your boy. <laughs> but, in uh, but instead you were like, you know, baby, baby. Okay, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna risk, wait. Now, now, oh no! What have I done? What have I done? Oh no, that's so bad. Okay, there's a chance, there's a chance. No, there's no chance. Okay, our play was not rewarded anyway. Okay, so here's the deal. He has no idea that Splendid Angel can actually be popped. Oh god, he's actually looking at this. Please do it! Yes! Yes, this is devastating. It will devastate me. Oh no! If only you would pop this... Aggro deck players, boys. Wait, what? Wait, what? Did that require a sacrifice or what, what just happened? I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I am 100% just not sure about that. Uh, okay, let's see. Can I get rid- Oh, I can actually get rid of anything I please here. Okay. Are you sh Oh, no, 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 I cannot. Good game. What's so good about this, my dude? What, what, what's so- Dude, why? Why? Why would you do that? Oh my- the, Oh, dude. The, the worst part- the, the worst part. Wait, can I actually even- Well... Wait, it's not revolted, right? Revolt. This ability- If a permanent you control left the- not, wait, this ability triggers if another permanent you control live the battlefield this turn. Well, I guess attack this, see what happens. Not much happens, but you, you kind of get the point. How did this even happen? H how? How are we in this situation? And yet again, someone already commented the last time I used Fatal Push, and the last last time I used Fatal Push, that... Why, why do you not understand how the vault works? Shut, shut, shut your mouth. I understand it perfectly. The game does not understand the deeper meanings of stuff. Okay, I'm like, I'm like covering. Oh god, yes, he played the Heliod. Dude, do you seriously have no idea what game even you're playing? How do you do this? Dude, did you just really po Oh my god, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Someone, someone alleviate me from this misery. Yes, at the, at the attack Davriel, he's like super dangerous and stuff. Oh my god. I think I'm having a I think I'm having a brain aneurysm and I didn't think it's possible for me. Wait, he's not even gonna kill the Davriel. This is why I wear the mask. Okay. Also he said this is where uh, why I wear the mask. Okay, and I'm I'm literally, by the way, drawing the worst options in the history of most likely ever. Uh, but that's absolutely fine. So, this guy probably doesn't know you can just cancel that. Oh no, he! Mother of God. How is any of the... You know, situations like this, yeah, I, 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 th th this, this is why Magic the Gathering Arena is still functional, because, you know, it's like, wow. Wowie, wowie, ooey, wah. So, he doesn't even probably know that the Splendid Angel does stuff. Dude, did he just kick her that? Yes, he did. That's quite funny. Okay, well, kick. Kick, kick, kick it at my dude. I don't care. <laughs> like, seriously. What are you gonna get back? Uh, Righteous Valkyrie? Yeah, Righteous Valkyrie. Yeah, that's that's very impressive, not gonna lie. You know what's more impressive? The fact that I can kill this and not even care. <laughs> oh my god. I, I, can't, I can't, boys. I literally can't. I am spent. I have no idea what's happening or why is it even happening. It just makes so little... Yeah, now he surrenders. Magic, everyone. It's it's a great game. So, like, a month or two months ago or something like that, 
the land draw algorithm was a complete mess. You lost so many games so often uh, through only the sheer virtue of not drawing lands or overdrawing lands. But now in the recent like month and a half, like uh, it just feels so good. It just feels so good to know that you're gonna start off most likely every hand with three lands or something like that if you're rolling with tw uh, uh, with the twenty four classical lands. It just feels so good. Ooh, what is this? Uh, do I care about that? I don't think I do. Okay, so get rid of that. It's fine. So yeah, it just feels so good knowing that you're you're not gonna get bricked with lands often because again, two months ago it was just horrendous. Every single game it was like, oh look at this, I'm losing because of lands yet again. Wow, is this an experience? But no, they changed it back, and this is not the first time, by the way, they change it that almost no one bricks with lands. And dude, it's so good. It just feels... I don't care. I don't... Wizards, I, I literally could not care less if it is a 100% a riggedy do scooby do that you, you, you make it that no one ever breaks with lands, that everyone always has four or five lands on curve. I don't care about that, you see? Because it just feels so much better to play knowing that, well, you're not gonna get constantly land bricked. It, it, it literally is a good feeling. And I have no idea what's the problem with wizards, but they, you see, they literally never keep the, uh, keep the algorithm like that. It's gonna be, it's gonna be like a month or, uh, or two, and they're again gonna set it to, to the, to the point where you're gonna get land screwed every second game. Or, you know, one third, uh, one in three games, you're not gonna get land screwed. It is just so egregious and stupid that that happens. Okay, how am I supposed to do these things? Okay, he, he drops the Ajani. I kinda expected that. Um, no. This is not good because I can't deal with the Ajani too easily. Uh, that's not that bad. Let's see. Uh, minus four. I'm not sure if I can win this one because, you know, all the cards are in his field, which is kind of sad. But at the same time, maybe there are options. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Like, look at this. Sign and blood. There's technically a chance that we do stuff, but he can draw so many things at this point that actually, like, ruin everything. Well, that's pretty annoying also, obviously. He just got like 50 quadrillion uh, HP, which is not... And that wasn't that... That was not also great. Okay, let's see. What can I even draw here that actually makes a difference in my life? That That's that's the real deal question, you know? That That is the question that I want to know. I'm gonna get rid of this, because it gives life... Okay, so next turn I can Heartless Act something if I choose to, or I can Lillian, but I can't really do a lot here. Ah, nah, he just has the the, the hand, obviously. Two val three Valkyries, actually, right? Ah, uh, well, forced losses still exist, obviously, but at least it's not land screwing, you know? At least that's kind of good. But this was a force, a force lost. It's like turn six, he got three val uh, Valkyries. E e e easy RNG. Oh, what joyous wonders will we face against this time? A Kaya dig that's almost ascending to the realm of Mythic. Please let me win. I don't want people in Mythic. I want these people to suffer. Three lands, Erebos, Davriel, and... A, uh, and ooh. Well, that's a pretty good turn, uh, whatever. Let's see, what do you have here? Ah, yes, stuff. Uh, obviously, get rid of that stuff. Okay, he doesn't have too much. Uh, most of this is kind of useless against me, which is good. Yeah, definitely good. Fun on a bun, at least. Fun on a bun. Okay, do I Erebos the Marauding Raptor? Yes, you always Erebos the Marauding Raptor, because it makes things a lot less expensive, and that's really annoying. The good part is, his fight mechanics don't really work. Well, admittedly, this also... Well, he could actually now play the 4-cost Raptor, but, you know, it, it, that's, that's, that's balanced. Okay, let's see. He does that. If I play a Davriel, what do you actually think he goes for? 
Like, if I get rid of this Marauding Raptor, I technically have a lot of time. He maybe doesn't have an extra... He most likely doesn't have an extra land, so actually, Erebosing this for two is not a bad choice. Even if he gets... If, if he gets the 4-5 four, fi uh, four, uh, dra dragon, whatever, he can still play it. Commune with dinosaurs, yes. Okay, that actually gives us a little bit of advantages. Uh, we need more mana to make this a little bit better. Stomping grounds, you say? I really want to kill this because I am slowly but surely beginning to feel a little bit not happy times about this. Let's see, if I do this, what happens? If he draws a lucky dinosaur here, it's not gonna be pretty. Let's see what he gets rid of. I think it's gonna be this, uh, yep. Oh, heaven slash earth. That's rare. Well, I guess dinosaurs do have some minor problems dealing with whatever. So, you know, it makes sense. Okay, at least now we know that technically if we just get to the mana point that he is on, we're gonna be good in the hood. Let's see, do I actually want any of that? Man, where's my lands? Wizards, it, this is not supposed to happen. Remember? I praised you for actually just making it always unfair. You know, that's not dead exactly, but close. You know what, I'm gonna take the almost close because I, 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 I need a little bit of HP. I need a little bit of HP. Currently, it's almost like top decking, but worse. <laughs> Dude, this is the slowest game ever. He didn't get a single combo wombo dino. And, well, you know, that's pretty much it. Okay, now the board is clear. I need to get the five man, and it's gonna be amazing. He needs to draw a big dinosaur that threatens my life. Okay, two Lilianas, two Clackety boys. 14 draws in, only three mana. Wow, that is definitely the dream. Oh, wow, sign of blood. Count me in, chief. Okay, well, at least I got the manas. I will do this, though. I definitely will do this. I need to see what he has there. Uh, Reckless Rage, you know what? Yeah, actually, just this. It's more damage. Reckless Rage is fine. Commune with Dinos. Okay, th this is this is where, where the danger zone starts. Okay, he got he, he got Godzilla. Not happy. Not happy noises. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Clack the boys. Engage. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, deals one damage to three creatures controller. Ah, yeah, that's three damage, my boy. What now? I saw your rampaging Ferocidon, and I literally just used it against you. Wait a minute. Wait, you can't- No! Oh, yeah, you actually can. Oops. Dude, that is so much tryharding to get rid of one creature, not gonna lie. Admittedly, now I need to get rid of that, and that's very annoying. Uh, but... Okay, good. Good. Liliana's. Liliana does stuff. Liliana sees a dino and she says, uh 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 uh. And now I'm actually even saved. Depends on what I uh, top deck next. Okay, he got a land. Um, I'm not even sure what's. Wait a minute, what? Uh, Viscuzzi there, chief, but you understand that's a Liliana, right? That, th th this is a Liliana, right? Oh, you didn't... Okay, you didn't kill the Liliana because you were 100% uh, fully aware that Wizards is gonna be like, not today, Chief. Okay. Okay. Under understandable. <laughs> Have a good day. Okay, well, dude, that, that seemed completely abrupt. And now he sees the Davriel. And let's see if that was a winner card. Let's see. I think it was probably a winner card. Come on. Oh, cycling. Well, you... That's cute, but you still need to discard it. Okay, well, you discarded the land. There is a chance that he just top decks something with uh, haste, which would be pretty bad. But, you know, all in all, I would say it's kind of... Wait a minute. If, if for a moment I concentrate real hard... 
And first use Davriel's minus one, because, you know, s s smart plays. And now I do this. Do I just win? Man, I have no clue. I think I, d I might. I definitely might. I'm not doing the math, by the way. You you have computers to do the math for you. Okay, we got our first opponent, and it's an Ugin avatar, which does not inspire confidence. Admittedly, ooh, Inscription of Ruin is not bad against an Ugin avatar. Okay, so, one thing that, by the way, I have noticed in the past, like, I don't know, month, month plus, or s something like that, is the simple fact that, uh, you know, Arena b changes their land mechanics, like, a lot. They, they, they just love to do that stuff. They constantly just change and change and change it constantly. And they have done it again. Oh, this is a juicy inscription of Ruin, by the way. Opponent discards two cards. Now, this is a value maker. This is the haymaker. Uh, but, yeah. Arena changes their land draw algorithm constantly. And I actually really like it when it's good. When everyone gets enough lands to actually do their thing. And it's rarely that you're gonna say, well, I lost because I was on two lands for most of the game. You know, because it happens just a lot, lot rarer. So I'm kinda okay with that. And also, I think he's gonna have a decent play here. Or, you know, maybe not. Of our Xlix. That's very cheeky, peachy, hunky, squeaky. I need to get rid of that Balas Citadel, honestly. Well, Cruel Reality and Liliana is gonna make this an actual experience. If I can get two more lands, Cruel Reality will absolutely obliterate our du- Oh, he- did he get a- like, I'm assuming he got a land there. Otherwise, why would you not block it? Oh no, he did not. Well, in that case, my friends... Wait, in that case, can I actually- No, 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 we still have time, we- we still have time for big boy plays. So I'm gonna just do this. Caballio! Oh man, that's the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff that I want in my life. And now he sacks it. A little bit... Not gonna lie, my dude. Oh, Cultivate. Ooh, scary, scary stuff right there, boys. Man, that Cultivate could be really bad and sad, but instead it's just gonna be kinda average Joe style of stuff. Okay, do I want to drop the Cruel Reality, or how do I want to do this? Well, let's do this first. There's no reason not to double Cruel Reality. Um, you know what? Hmm. It's pretty bad with the goats, honestly. But I guess it's better than nothing. Hmm. He's gonna have a Vorex Slugs, but does that matter? No, he's gonna have- oh, he's gonna have that, though. If, if I Inscription of Ruin. No. He's gonna sag the goats, which is not ideal. Okay, I think- I, I think it's- yeah, I, I, it's gonna be Torment for 7. Torment for 7 is gonna be pre- it, it's, it's gonna be pretty devastating for him. Especially considering he just suffered that 2 extra damage. So, even if he drops the Citadel at this point, I don't think he can do a lot. Like, he got land starved for an extreme amount of time. And it's rare to get land starved now, like... Again, like, a, a month and a half ago, I constantly... Oh, he just chose the... Easy way out. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that was the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If there's one thing we have learned from today's video, it is that aggro players are definitely not the smartest people in the world. Arguably, they're exactly on the opposite side of smart. But to each their own, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Anyway, this is a pretty fun deck. It's good against creatures, it has a lot of removal, this is why we're not playing any AoE Vrat spells. Mostly because I don't honestly like black uh, Vrat spells. But you could technically uh, swap Fatal Push out for some kind of Vrat spells or, you know, remove one Fatal Push and then input uh, two, uh, two Vrat spells. It depends on what you want. But anyway, so this was Quizzer Sensen.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Hamda already. Check out the channel. Check out Discord. Check out the Discord. Check out everything. And have a nice day. Bye bye.